Okay, folks, this will be interesting. This is a commentary on a um, a slogan. A lot of these, a lot of advertising slogans or taglines often have relevance. Like they often apply to my um, situation. Like, like for example, um, the Biz Hub seats. Um, at the Konica Minolta tagline was change the way you do business and that was for the BizHub series machines that they had back in the 2010s if I'm correct and basically yeah that was the tagline and basically yeah and the thing is I want to make make uh, redesign the photocopier and and do business differently and I just feel like that tagline is like like it's not real in the in its conventional uh, context because it's just about making money and it's just an empty slogan but that slogan sounds like something I want to do change the way you do business like make the world a better place not be greedy give away most of your money to helping others and to helping the planet Change the way you do business. Do business for the good of the world and good of the people. Not fucking to line your fucking purse with your own money and keep it to yourself and be a greedy twat designing shitty product. So, yeah. So, I see. Change change the way you do business. I'm going to do that one day. One day. Not yet, but one day. And this is another case. Office works. Make bigger things happen. But, you know, I'm doing that, folks. I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news. And I'm using a lot of Officeworks-derived stuff, like I bought, I buy these from Officeworks uh, for the phone to store the videos on. Then I make the videos go straight to the micro SD card. This is what we're interested in. And basically, I'm also utilising the self-service photocopiers at Officeworks to create some of my public demos and I don't think they're going to like that because I'm using a camera in a shop which is often frowned upon by most businesses um, you know because people are so paranoid about videography in, in public places like office works you know and I've just lost my settings folks but basically I, I see that that I'm trying to make big things happen, um, literally. It's not just a fucking tagline anymore. This is real. This is real shit. It may not... Office Works obviously never thought about someone walking into their shop taking videos of themselves using a uh, one of their photocopiers, or, or, their, or not one of them, their photocopiers, and using products from the shelf and using them as subject matter and leaving them behind with the paper, the artwork that was created. And <laughs> so I'm doing some really crazy shit. So, folks, and Office Works obviously couldn't think outside the box that someone would actually hijack their tagline. So make big things, bigger things happen. So I'm going to make bigger things happen. If the, if I can get the TV channels interested in what I'm doing here, and and also at Office Works and at libraries and other places where I can gain access to a photocopier, well, so be it. I, I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to. All I need is to get them to help me, and then the rest of it will just follow flow on from there. So I just, oh, look, I forgot to turn off the original, the um, negative positive. That's come up looking quite nice. I do think I've got to move it down a bit. But that looks really nice, actually, as a negative positive. I forgot about that. But basically, yeah, I just, I, I like to take things and change, use things differently, think outside the box. Most business people are what I simply refer to as inbox thinkers. They just think inside the box. They don't see anything different. They can't make anything... They can't utilise things differently. They haven't got any talent or any ability to to, you, to you, do things differently to what the convention is. You know? Office works are not really there to make bigger things happen. They, they, the only bigger things happen they're interested in is how much money they can get from people, 
how much money can they make from people, which is a typical business uh, aesthetic. And that's can't looking nice, but we don't want that. I think I fucked up. <laughs> but basically, yeah. Um, so I really, I, I like to try to think outside the box when it comes to things. And when I become CEO of a future photocopier company, you know, things are going to be different to what we have now. You know, we really are going to make a difference in the world. We're going to make the world cleaner and greener. We're going to get rid of e-waste from third world countries or countries that are developing. And that includes China and India where huge amounts of e-waste are apparently dumped. And that's just not acceptable, you know, to have all that, have other countries accepting e-waste, especially from other countries, um, having to deal with that shit. And that's kind of looking a treat. I think we're going to we won't push it up any further. We're just going to enlarge it, maybe down and a bit across. But basically, I want to see the world become a cleaner, greener and happier place. I want to try and make it for everyone, that everyone gets a fair go, that everyone has a dream and get and it comes true. That we're not just going to allow the rich only to um, enjoy life. The people who've got less money should be allowed to enjoy their life as well, you know, that so that people really don't need a lot of money to be happy. They can just be happy as they are because the rich are helping them. The rich are being generous. And I just hate the way the world has become such a have-and-have-not kind of society where you know, there's people who've got money and prestige and then there's the other people who don't have hardly anything and it's really just not fucking fair so yeah I, I don't care that office works might frown upon me especially doing my demos in their shop in their stores I just don't care I just see an important these demos are important for my future and the future of other people because I really want to help others. I want to get off. I'm also. I am disabled. I have a dis. I have disabilities. Like I have. A, when I was born, I had a cord around my neck and I came out breech, which would have cut off the oxygen supply, and caused some serious damage to my brain, especially the memory parts of my brain. And basically, I can't function in a normal job or doing what normal people can do. And I do think I might do this differently. And I'm just trying to... Um, I want to make a difference to the world, even though I'm disabled. And basically, I'm hoping one day they'll have technology to fix the brain damage that I had at birth. And then I can become CEO of a future photocopier company. But it starts with the TV campaign. I've got to get in touch with a lost partner. His name is Luigi. And I'm trying to... I need the 6 o'clock news to uh, help bring us together. Otherwise, we'll never see each other. And this office works dream of making bigger things happen won't happen. So I need to make it happen. So I do wonder where the centre of the job is going to be. This is a tricky one, folks. This one's a tricky one. So yeah, I'm trying to do some real serious shit with what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just trying to decide where the centre of the job is going to be. So yeah, I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news. And I want to get off, uh, I'm on Centrelink, I'm on the Disability Support Pension, and I work in an Australian disability enterprise, which I really find batshit boring, being having to deal with the disabilities that I have and not being able to feel a sense of real satisfaction, because being disabled just is so restrictive and boring and ag aggravating and it just causes me a load of sheer frustration and 
I just can't do the things I want to do on my own and I I don't want to be defined by my disability so I'm trying to get use my talent the parts of the brain that are high functioning I do believe I have all high functioning autism which can be a good thing in this situation to create this stuff and to motivate me and to push me hard so I can push myself hard and hard and hard instead of going all weak and floppy I'm going to push myself really really hard with this stuff I think we're going to move it across even further just going to stretch it I'm just going to really stretch it but basically yeah I I want to be recognized as a person with talent and I don't want the disability to keep constantly up upstaging the parts of my brain that are really powerful and high functioning and I really need them they cry crave attention and, and a success I've done some stupid things when I was young by not being with Luigi when I had the opportunity and now I have to fucking work on this what I'm doing here to um, fix up the damage that I did um, I do wonder if we're going to make it 400% I don't know if I like it I'm just trying to decide which one I like better this version should be better um, I'm going to do another, another enlargement we're going to maybe just go and pull out all the stops and put it at 400 so yeah it's just like I have to just go outside and think outside the box that's what my high functioning autism however much both the diagnosis of my high functioning autism and my um, and my um, intellectual disability I, I don't have an actual diagnosis a formal diagnosis folks all I know is that they do exist and yeah I'm going to make me use this as a master copy because I can't go any further with the enlargement so I'm gonna I do feel this might look better like that it might look better just like that and s somehow uh, so I'm trying to think outside my own box even sometimes even I struggle with thinking in my own box I try to um, make a difference with things I try to do things differently but sometimes I don't always think outside the box like I'd like to imagine myself doing it so I do it's it's tricky um, trying to make new ideas and new techniques with my art sometimes I just don't um, even then I struggle to think of new ideas or I, I get entrenched in doing things the same way because it's safe and that's the thing, playing it safe is often a, more, a very dangerous uh, proposition. It might look dangerous sometimes when, you, when you're trying to do things, like it might look dangerous to me that I could get in trouble with office works for videoing in their stores, but it, I consider that if I don't go to air on television, things will be a lot worse and I need to do it. So I need to do what I do and, you know exercise my talent and because my future is dependent on this folks and that's come up too I've stretched it too hard that's way 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 too aggressive with this stretch so we're going to just take that back I think we're stuck on mirror image as well I do like to prefer not to work on that so I'm going to make this maybe 140 but yeah, I'm just, I've just got to try and push the boundaries. I've got to keep pushing the boundaries, folks. Because that's what photocopier art is all about, pushing boundaries. It's a large part of it is about boundary pushing. So yeah, making bigger things happen. You know, make bigger things happen with the office works. Uh, tagline and basically yeah um, 
do wonder I'm going to enlarge it on the vertical as well. I'm going to just maybe have this section and just have that word that there. So that'll probably, I don't know which way we're going to make this. Maybe we'll just keep it like that. Um, I wonder if we're going to darken it or maybe leave it. Maybe we can change the contrast. Yeah, that looks a bit nicer, a little bit, a little bit more. Not much different, but it makes that colourful bit a little bit... I don't know, folks. Uh, I don't know if it really makes much of a difference the way I've done it. Um, I think we'll do it like that. Um, but basically, you know, it's really hard to sometimes have courage to push the boundaries. And, you know, when you're in an office work store, there's always people around you. Um, whether it be staff or patrons and you've got to be careful you know because they are right under your nose and somehow it's really difficult but somehow I managed to most in the most part avoid getting into trouble for videoing um, when I get in trouble for videoing I, or when I get caught out uh, I get I call it getting zipped so if you hear me saying I've just been zipped it means that I've been caught out uh, not necessarily videoing, but being using, like I did a newsagent demo and the guy in the newsagent didn't seem to care that I was videoing, but he saw that I was using um, merchandise from the shop, you know, and he was not happy. He, I told him, oh, look, it's art. And he said, no, he talks about copyright, you know, because I'm basically breaking a copyright rule. I was photocopying a, um, a um, cricket card or some cricket portfolio thingy or whatever it was. And he caught me out and he wasn't happy with me doing it. So that was really quite nerve wracking and I got zipped. I was in a news agent and yeah, so it's very easy to get to get caught out and it's really quite nerve-wracking for me to be honest I do feel I don't have nerves of steel as you as you might think I might have nerves of steel doing this shit I don't I do get scared just like anyone I do I get scared but I I have to do it I can't just keep playing it safe and just avoiding getting into what could be trouble you have to do it folks sometimes it's do or die you know do or die you got to do it folks sometimes you just have to work in the danger zone under your nose and that's come up looking a real 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 treat i think we can now call this demo quits